Well, good morning today. 13, I think. Uh, I'm just back at the trailhead. I stayed at Station 19. I didn't, sorry, I didn't do a lot of uh, taking pictures there or whatnot. Cool place. What I'm waiting here for is last night I met a former through hiker, 2014 Little Spoon, I think, if I remember right, Little Spoon. Uh, he's section hiking with his girlfriend and their dog uh, and camped up here just before the trailhead. And the guy's like, he's been waiting to give trail magic to through hikers, but he hasn't seen any. And he stumbles across me and I tell him, you know, how my trip's going and everything. And he, he wants to give me his stove, right? So I can't believe it. I can't, I can't believe it. Somebody bought me a beer before I even got there. Somebody had bought me a beer. Um, uh, this morning, uh, Jason and Laura, uh, they thank you very much. They went to Bob's Dairyland, I think is what it is, and, and brought me back, brought me some biscuits, some sausage biscuits. Yeah, and then if I get if I get this stove, I'm in biz, I'm back in business. Hey, man. What's up, man? How are you doing? Good, man. Okay, I'm on my way. I've just been on the trail now for about a half hour or so. Uh, just met Little Spoon at the trailhead, and he gave me my, uh, gave me my, gave me his stove. Can you believe that? Can, can you believe what a total stranger would do? That's just awesome. And then again, like I said, the, the couple, uh, I think it was Laura and Jason at the hostel, they bought me some uh, biscuits. For breakfast i made the coffee though so and it was good coffee they have to admit that it was it was good coffee but it's a beautiful day for a walk well it is Memorial Day. Uh, get a load, get a load of this. That that says 400, 400 miles on the A on the AT. Well, not for me personally, but that is the 400 mile mark for Springer Mountain. It's only one something for me. Santa. This is must be where he spends his, his days, I'm guessing. You know, when he's not in his workshop. Got a little house, a little tent there. Looks like he's making a yo-yo or a keychain or something. <gasps> Uh-oh, Santa, watch out. Watch out, Santa. It's coming for you. It's it's tremors. It's coming, Santa. Watch out. I didn't even realize it, but right there. I'm going to laugh. Right there is a little canoe and the paddles and stuff, and there's Santa. Anyway, if you get the chance, there's a guy, Doug Linker, L-I-N-K-E-R. Uh, you'll find him on YouTube. He's got a bunch of stuff. He's an outdoors kind of guy, and he a few years ago, he took up wood carving. And he has this video of some of his carvings that he did, and the name of it's called, I think it's called The Resupply. There's a short version and a long version of it. Watch this, it's a cute, cute, cute little video. I'll try to put a link to it in the description. If I know how to do that. Well now, if that isn't a bench that says, hey, come have a seat and look out over my purview. Burr.
Well, hello to my tiny woodland creature friend. Well, look how pretty he is, huh? Look at the, look at the yellow in him. It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm gonna eat you. Hmm. Okay. Now I have to get up off of all fours. Oh my god. You know, man, I'm just staying that right here. Hmm. Moreland Gap Shelter, day 14. Well, I just did like this whole monologue and realized that I wasn't recording. So anyway, welcome to day 13, 13 or 14, I can't. They're all running together. Just come out of Moreland Gap Shelter uh, on a nice uphill, nothing like that to get your, you know, <sighs> blood pumping first thing in the morning. Uh, caught up with at the shelter uh, Iron Man and Stealth had a nice had a nice uh, night a little fire uh, got to know each other a little bit they we all pull out at the same time but they're probably already a mile ahead of me and it hasn't been that long but we're gonna go to or I know I am I'm pretty sure they are boots off hostel and we'll avoid camping out in any bear activity area. So we were eating breakfast and packing up this morning and I was cleaning off my lens said that I had lenses and I was cleaning off lenses and stuff. And then I post and <clears throat> Stealth says, are you an influencer? You know, not a bad way, just ask. Of course not, I'm not an influencer, you know. And Iron Man uh, says, you know, the only thing that he'd like to influence is people to get up off the couch. And I thought, you know, that's a, that's a noble aspiration, I suppose, huh? Right? That's his, that's his, something in a positive way, you know? He's not out here to, doesn't want to, you know, do what I'm doing, which is just rub your face in it, you know? <laughs> no, no. Well, I think, if I'm not mistaken, aren't these May apples? I mean, they're not May apples yet. They're getting to be May apples, but isn't that what they are? How cool is that? I'm, I'm pretty sure they're edible. Not, I mean, I guess you could eat it now, but I'm not going to. It's just a flower. It's polka dots. Looks like the front license plate of my wife's car.
take 27. I've been trying to do this and either, <laughs> never mind, you know, never mind. Anyway, so I'm walking, uh, or I'm at the waterfall and there, a guy shows up and he's, a, he's section hiking. He threw hike last year and he was supposed to be a ridge runner this year, but that got the kibosh put on it, right? But we started walking and we made it around where the high water bypass, where the high water, the, the trail goes right around the, the rocks. I wish I could have shown it to you, but I was busy. Um, it goes around the rocks and then a pretty part of the trail we were walking together. We, he had about another mile to go on this section. So we got to talking, but you know, we get to the end, we get to the end and he's like, hey man, you can do this, I, I believe in you. Kind of a strange thing you know somebody you just met 20 minutes ago saying hey i believe in you i didn't even tell my kids i believed in them well not not as so they could hear i only did it at night when they were sleeping i, I didn't want them to get soft or anything before anybody accuses me of just showing you you know the fun part the easy part i want to you can just watch me walk up this hill, mountain, whatever it is. Oh, and we come to a switchback. You know what that means? That means we're gonna do it all over again. Just going left foot first. It's 4.50 and I just come down off of the pond wilderness. That was a fast hike down a mountain. But Boots Off Hostel is right up here. And uh, I'll get a tent site, I think, for the night. And uh, maybe get some laundry done and then head out again in the morning. I don't think I'm going to get a room. I don't want to spend the money. But, uh, long, 14 some odd miles, I think. Anyway, here we are. Let's have a look. Okay. So that's just like their little maintenance shed that's there, right? Up there. So here's the, the bathroom. Nice little bathroom, clean. This is the bunkhouse. Curtains, different colored curtains, different colored paint on the backdrops. Very nice. But here's the showers. And let me tell you something. These are, the shower's great last night. I had a fantastic shower in here. They're outside, but so here's the painting on it. It's got all the stuff that's here. So Watuga Lake, right? There's the, the falls, Laurel Falls, um, Watuga Dam, all the different, um, Sawyer squeeze. Look at look at the paint. This is this is paint splash. I didn't get pictures of her, but she she paints up and down up and down the trail. So this is the shower. It's got like a, a wash bin with holes in it, and hot and cold water, all the soap you could possibly want. And into the forest I go to lose my mind and find my soul. And this is this is the guys, right? So it's got the dog, the guitars. All that different, it looks like he's dreaming about Reese's and, and uh, you know, in a hammock and hot dogs and dog food and all stuff. So anyway, very cool. And this is the common area. So a refrigerator, uh, sink, little, little oven, little washer step. This is in the morning, my continental breakfast, fruit, all this plug in and then the store is closed but then a, a little resupply on the inside too so excellent
Good morning. It's uh, 7.05 on the 27th. I don't even know what, what day is this. 15, 14, something. Man. Yeah. I'm sorry. I met a guy from Germany. He and his girlfriend are through hiking. They got held up in Franklin for six weeks. But a really cool guy. Um, we had a good good conversation by the fire last night so anyway um just, just, just another day on trail i guess you know this is my life now is this my life now this is all i do get up and walk a little bit of a road walk because the high water be up to our waist i'm with uh, met a couple of people shifty and buffy from Germany and I'm walking with them this morning. It looks like we're a Gossamer Gear commercial, but I'm enjoying the company, so I'm gonna walk with them. Hey, Hello, what's hi. up? Shifty and Buffy on the trail. Yes. Say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What a beautiful day. Yes, it is. There's the trail and you can see that, that ain't happening. I'm not doing a log jam walk. We're gonna go up and around. You know, I'm not ignoring you, walking. There just hasn't been a lot of like little things to take pictures of. Things. Just a lot of, uh, you know, green, no may apples, no little salamanders, no little toads, nothing. No, it's like, you know, they heard I was coming or something and scattered. Hey, there's a fly for you. I got it, I got you a picture of a fly. Does that work? So my little millipede, right? I, there he is, right there. You see him? I'm sorry that I'm touching him, but kind of cool, huh? Look, you see how he, he's like, like a seashell almost, you know? I'm pretty sure he was just sitting there looking at me, wondering what I was doing on the ground like this. And then a thought occurred to me a little bit ago. You know, I've seen a lot of your comments on my first video, and thank you very much for watching, and thank you for the kind comments. But several of you have said that you're glad that I take pictures of the small stuff. You like that, that there's small stuff. And I think I'm on to you. I, 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 I think what it is is you're just sadist. And you know that I have to get down low to, to take those pictures. And then I have to get back up with 30 pounds on my back. And I think you just want to see me keep doing that. And you're all probably ha are you're in cahoots. And there's like this little whole back gambling room going on to see, you know, how many times I bend over and what my breaking point is. And then I don't know what the pot is going to be. You know, I don't know what the buy-in is. But um, uh, you're going to be in it for a long time because I'm not, I'm not going down. I hope. My shoelace. He thinks he thinks my shoelace is a mate. It's yellow and black. <laughs> like much but yesterday this was home last night this was home 
a beautiful little spot in the woods I spent with Shifty and Buffy. I'm glad they took off a couple of minutes before me because they will then get rid of the spider webs. Yeah, sure. You want me to? Oh, she recognizes us. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, baby. Hello, darling. This is my first on the trail. I was filming where, where you see uh, um, us walking down the trail together, all three of us. I set up the camera and then I ran back and, and I think I kind of freaked uh, Shifty and Buffy out when I ran back because they thought I was running from something. <laughs> well, there go my friends, Shifty and Buffy. They're going in to uh, get some help for his foot. And I'm trying to figure out this contraption. <clears throat> yeah, so what a quick change in scenery. We just come out of the mountains with streams and brooks, a lot like North Georgia. Now I'm into pasture land. This should be a pretty easy walk, I hope. They're all headed this way. I think they're coming to say hello. <laughs> we'll see them in a second. This here is what you call a genuine bovine welcoming committee. <laughs> Look at the little baby. There's two of them. There's several of them. Look at the tiny. Look how tiny they are. So apparently that is the oldest shelter, or one of the oldest shelters, on the AT. Last time I saw a structure that looked like that, it was right after the San Francisco earthquake, the Loma Prieta earthquake in 1989. <laughs> About a mile and a half to the shelter, so uh, I feel all right. I, I, I kind of jelly-legged, but I guess that's to be expected going 19 miles in one day with 1,700 pounds on your back. Well, I just saw a first bear coming right up the path right there. This is, this is what happened. Last night I'm getting my food back. I get it out of my thing, out of my backpack, and I go, there's another couple, they're laying right here. And I go to get out of, my, I get my food back, and I go to turn to go out to the picnic table. And I walk out, and right down there, where that log crosses the trail, the bear is coming this way. It's a couple minutes after eight, I just left the shelter a few minutes ago. Got 10 miles to go to Damascus, so it should be a good day downhill. And then decide what I'm gonna do. If I'm gonna push on or uh, stay the night in Damascus. It depends on how I feel. I did 19 miles yesterday. Me, me, I did 19 miles. Can you believe it? All right, eight o'clock, I just left uh, the shelter, the bear shelter. And I should be in Damascus in about five hours, four and a half, five hours. 
and decide if I'm gonna stay the night and charge up my batteries, both my batteries and my batteries' batteries. All right, Tennessee, Virginia line. And it's only 11 o'clock, so things are looking up. This is it, coming into Damascus, May 29th. During trail days, all of this would be tense. All of this would be tense. It's a huge celebration. But this year, they heard I was coming through. So they said, mm, I don't think we'll have trail days this year. Yeah, so really not the Damascus uh, experience I was expecting. Although, I, you know, I didn't have a lot of expectations for this trip, but this is not those expectations. Apparently I'm on something called the Virginia Creeper Trail. I don't know the lore behind it, but there's 5,000 people on bicycles coming up behind me, so I better pay attention to them and not you. Sorry. Yeah, you've all heard of the school bus. But have y'all heard of the cool bus? Mm -hmm. 